Welcome to another edition of the Bear Facts. I'm Kyle Lacey at the Exact Target Market Cloud headquarters in UCJ Bear over there in that Convince and Convert headquarters in Bloomington, Indiana. You are not traveling today, apparently, or are you? I, I, uh, I'm traveling in the morning, and I traveled yesterday and last week. Tomorrow morning, uh, I am headed out to Mexico for the annual Convince and Convert Strategic Planning Retreat. Uh, very much looking forward to that. That's right. We actually did a bear fax from that retreat last year. It was you on your iPhone, and it was extremely exciting for everyone. This year, I'm going to uh, not do that because I'm just going to drink tequila and, uh, and be strategic. <laughs> I thought that you were going to bring a bear rug. I might. No, I'll do that at home. I'm not going to bring a bearskin rug to Mexico. It's okay. like an extra bag charge. That's true. Uh, but I may bring. Uh, I may bring my tiny sombrero, which I have over here on the show. Okay. Perfect. All right. Fact, today. You know Hold on just a second, Kyle. We'll just, okay. In honor of me going to Mexico, we'll just make sure that I have the tiny sombrero on for this edition. Let me try. Can I make it? There we go. Uh, that looks awesome, man. There. So for this edition of the Bear Facts, since I'm going to Mexico in the morning, we'll have the tiny sombrero. Okay. Tiny, tiny sombrero edition of the Bear Facts. So yeah. w with this edition, we are talking about a uh, acquisition that happened, I think, yesterday. Google bought the connected products company Nest for $3.2 billion in cash. Um, we talk a lot about connected products here at Exact Target. I know that, Jay, you discuss these as well. Um, what do you think about this purchase, and how do you think that it shapes the future? Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I keep thinking that maybe uh, I should be in a more boring business, because if you can get $3 billion for thermostats, um, exactly. something, something is going right. I mean, you're right. Salesforce has talked a lot about the Internet of Things and, and that being um, a huge part of the future, and, and certainly Google, uh, with this move, uh, believes the same. Uh, it's, it's fascinating. I think what we're going to see is that technology – which today is, is a lake. You have to go get technology. You have to grab a device to access technology, whether that's a phone or a tablet or, or a laptop or, or something else. You, you have to want to do technology today. Very quickly, technology is going to be a river uh, or, or like air. It will be all around us. The technology will just be uh, baked into all elements of our lives, whether we want it uh, or not. And uh, it's really interesting to think about where this, where this heads. Um, you know, you're, you're sitting there, in your house and all of a sudden it gets a little chilly and you get a, you know, a Google ad pop up on your, on your, you know, on your phone, like, would you like to buy a blanket? Uh, right. <laughs> we, we got deals on blankets, you know? Uh, and, and then we can have Amazon uh, airdrop it with a drone into your living room. Uh, so it's, it's pretty fascinating. And, and I think the other thing, just like on a macro level is like, how about the balls on Google? Right. I mean, it's like, look, yeah, we're going to dominate search and, and then we're going to, you know, kind of do the email thing with Gmail and then maps and this and that. And now we're getting serious about social. I mean, they seriously want to rule the world. They, they want to be like Panem, right? You know, the capital. Uh, like, hey, we want to be in charge of cars uh, and, and all the appliances in your house and television. And they've already got your phones. I mean, it is really the, the scope and scale of their ambition. They've got this cancer project. Uh, I mean, it, it is it is staggering. And you think about, you know, when my kids who are in uh, middle school and high school now, when they're our age, you know, what is what is the world going to be like and what is Google going to be like at that point? And, and which makes me think about like one of the reasons there's been so much chatter about this nest thing in the last day is, you know, do people trust Google uh, to have them at the center point of their lives via connected devices in their home? I mean, Google, you, you remember, I mean, at one point was the plucky upstart, right? I mean, which is hilarious to think about today. But yeah. at one point, they were the, you know, they were Nest um, right. at one point, And now they certainly are not that. And, and so it, it, at some point, it comes down to trust. If we all admit that, you know, we're going to have connected devices and our whole world is going to be driven by technology and robots, um, do you want that robot to have a Google logo or do you just not trust those guys enough? And, and I don't know what the answer to that is. I don't know who would be more trustworthy. Uh, but, but at the end of the day, uh, I think they've squandered some of the trust that they had in the last few years. And, and at some point, people might say, you know, man, I'm not really into that. Well, ultimately, millions and millions and millions of people trust them with their email, right? Could, that can be yeah. extremely personal. So. I think that I think they're on the right track, you know, especially with the driverless car and everything they're trying to do in transportation. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen in the near future. So, Jay, um, I'm I'm actually completely okay with Google controlling my thermostat in my home. 
I mean, that, actually, that would be you know really what? Cool. Speaking of their initial connected devices, for I actually have a Chromecast, yeah. uh, which I like quite a bit. Vocus actually sent me one for the holidays, and I, it's great. Uh, in fact, we're bringing it to Mexico to kind of run the uh, presentation on the on the TV down there at the house, and uh, it's a nice little device. It's a cool gadget. There you have it. Google's already infiltrated convince and convert so the world is next that's another edition of bear facts thanks jeff Cheers.